This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and I am continuing my series on 40 millimeter aluminum padlocks with master locks entries, and these are two variants of the Pro Series Model 6835. The yellow one is slightly older than the green one. Both of these locks, however, have identical keyways, and it is one that is normally used on Pro Series locks. You can see there is a line right from the top to the bottom of the keyway that allows a pick to fit through there. So we will not be giving it points for a paracentric keyway. You really do need a very thin pick to get through there though. This is a 15 thousandths pick I'm demonstrating it with, which is very, very easy to pick this lock or very easy to access the pins with it. However, we can also use a 25 thousandths pick if we pick off this side bit of warding, like, like that. So I don't feel as though I'm materially disadvantaged using a full 25 thousandths pick. And because of that, I am not going to be giving Master Lock the points for either requiring a specialized pick or having a paracentric keyway. But let's see how hard it is to pick into these locks, then we'll take them apart, see what's inside, and tally up the rest of the points for these locks. Let's first do the older one. I'm using top of the keyway tension with a 40 thousandths pry bar and a standard 25 thousandths hook from Sparrows. One's loose, two's loose, three's loose, four's loose, five is binding. Got a click out of him, a little bit of a false set. I got stuck under four on my way out. He felt like a spool, I set him. Let's just work our way out. Same on three, felt like a spool. Same on two. Same on one, and the lock's open. Okay, let's move on to the, the newer lock. And we have that same keyway, top of the keyway tension with our 40 thousandths pry bar, and same pick. One's loose, two's loose, three's loose. Little click out of four. Uh, okay, five put us into a false set. And same thing's happening. I'm getting stuck on four. We just set him. Three. Both of those felt like spools. Nothing on two. and one open the locks up. Okay, so it felt like we had one standard and four spools, but let's take these apart and find out. Looks like we have an Allen wrench to take apart this lock. And a very stiff screw. Okay, let me get my pinning tray over here. Try to get this clip off the back. He's being a little bit stubborn. And this is also a really greasy core. Okay, looks like a six pin core. Only five of the slots are pinned up. Let's dump these pins out. Okay, it looks like the grease is keeping them in, so let me use a pick to help, to help extract these key pins. Two, three, four, and five. Let's put the newer one in the slot up front, and let's get the driver pins out. Okay, one is a spool, two is a spool, three is a spool, same on four, 
and five has a couple serrations on it. I'm gonna call that a serrated pin. So five security pins. Okay, let's take apart the, the older master lock and that has a Phillips screwdriver to take it apart. <clears throat> Another very, very tightly set screw. Another grease covered lock. Another six pin core with only five slots that are populated. Let's get these key pins out. It's one, two, three, four, and five. And let's get the driver pins out. I'm assuming we'll have similar pinning. It certainly felt the same to me. Okay, so far three spools, four spools, and the same lightly serrated pin in slot five. Okay, so before I give you a close up of this, let's tally up our points. We are not giving these locks points for having six pins. We are also not giving it points for having a paracentric keyway or requiring a special pick to open. We do, however, get one point for each security pin. So each of these locks gets five because we have five, four spools and one serrated pin in each. With five points, that actually ranks it ranks both of them below our generic Chinese lock, which gave eight points to. So very interesting. I think the first of my series where the Chinese generic lock does not come in last place. Okay, let's give you a close up of these pins now. Okay, the pinning is essentially identical, all standard key pins. And then in slots one through four on both locks, we have spools. And in slot five, we have a lightly serrated pin. Okay, that's all I have for you on these Master Lock Series 6835. I'm sorry, from Pro Series 6835. If you have any questions or comments about these locks, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.